I kind of want to, well, I'm not going to bring all that in yet. They're not ready for that. <laughs> um, all right, here we go with the background. I'm going to move everything down a smidge. I think it looked like it was a little off. This is our first try again, just to, just to reiterate. Um, this courses app I'm doing, um, if you're watching it, you know, anywhere in the vicinity of March, 2020, uh, it's brand new. So, uh, we actually would appreciate any feedback. If you have any, uh, any thoughts or if anything's hard to follow, or if you have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to start here. What I'm actually going to start doing, I'm going to use the big brush. We're going to start with a wet and wet painting technique. Um, uh, just in a real quick flash, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put water everywhere where the mushroom is not. So, and you know, in this sample, it's uh, it's going to kind of go around the outside here, and then up to here, and then in and out here, and that just basically following the outline around the outer border there. And it'll have a, I'm, I'm going to use the one inch flat brush, so it's going to have a lot of water. Uh, I just want to go ahead and really kind of slather it on there. This is why we're using 140 pound paper. This paper can totally take it. The arches is a cotton rag. So is that, I believe it's 100% cotton. I don't know exactly um, what, I don't know exactly what, uh, like what the difference is between this and like a towel that's made of cotton or a shirt. Do you have any idea? Um, these are fibers that are pressed. They're like shredded into really tiny fibers and then pressed together. Whereas a towel would be made out of fibers that are woven into a strand and want it to be kept long or, and then like woven into a fabric. Wow, okay, cool. Do you think you could paint on a t-shirt? Or like, like why do t-shirts stretch, I guess? You, yeah, I guess that- It has to do with um, how fabric is woven. So if it's woven like with really stretchy fabric, for instance, it will stretch more. I mean, but I guess canvas is, more is still cotton. stretchier than a knit. Okay. And then it's like certain, it's based on like how many interlockings there are. So if there's a lot of space between each weave, mm -hmm. it'll stretch more and be looser. Versus okay. if there's not, it'll be really tight. I think, uh, and then, and, and, and canvas is cotton, correct? Yeah, cool. Yeah, and, and so that, that has some flexibility. That's that's interesting that we paint on a weave. That's probably more than you were like bargaining. Not at all, actually. I was totally, I, I knew I was asking. So yeah, Elizabeth's background is in design and I mean, fine arts, all, a, a wide assortment of things. But a lot of the time I'm gonna go her uh, go to her for like questions um, that require factual answers. I'll be providing sort of the artistic bits and, and whatnot. And um, honestly, she's a pretty fantastic painter. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm usually gonna do is kinda kinda kind of tilt it around. I put a lot of water on there, it looks very shiny. What I want ideally is somewhere right between like shiny and a sheen. And really the only way to know that perfectly is just to play with it. So um, that's why I say, hey, you know, do a few and uh, you're gonna keep changing things until you like it uh, in your own way. And that's honestly the point of it, I'd be a little, I'd be a little bumming if yours looked just like mine. I feel like that would be, I, I mean, to some degree, yeah, missing the point of art. Creating. Creating is, is to have preferences and, and things you don't like. And then sometimes what happens, you can kind of see it, um, or maybe you saw it when I held it up a second ago, that water is like pooling into these almost channels and that's gonna happen, it's just, it's fine. Um, this is where I'll kind of check that the tape is pressed down. You see, I'll do this too. I'm gonna kind of, kind of keep like chasing the water around. And what it does is it kind of lets the extra, like the the bit that's pooling up, uh, come come off the surface. And you're pretty quick to end up there with a nice uh, sheen. Also, 
those ripples are not the worst. Like some of the paint is gonna collect there, but that's, it's okay. That's just how things go. Um, all right, so let me get these out of the way. I got all my colors here. Um, we're gonna be doing, a, you know, this background on this one is kind of this like foggy photo effect, the portrait effect on most phones. It does that like, oh, there's nature back there, but it's blurry. Um, it's all suggestion. Hydrate or dihydrate. Um, so uh, I'm gonna get my colors going first. Usually I do this, uh, what I do is I'm gonna use the big brush, sometimes the medium brush if I don't need as much paint. And I'm just gonna a, a mop full of water and just do a little, do a few little circles. And then I'm just gonna kind of take some of that green and um, drop it off right in the little lake there. And you can see just a couple little bits. Mine was wet because I've been painting out of here. So sometimes with that brush, you gotta like dust across your, your paint a little bit, but um, it's just, it's so little pigment. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're just like, you know, you're touching the pigment and then put it into the water. Um, opacity is good. That hooker's green happens to be really strong. A lot of the colors I like tend to be strong. So to weaken them, you just add more, add another mop full of water. Um, once I've done the paint, I'm going into dirty water instead of into clean water. That way, um, but you can see right away when I stir that in, it becomes like a little more see-through at that side than that side. So a lighter color is gonna be more see-through, darker color is gonna, gonna be more opaque over here. And uh, some of these spaces in the original actually had got no paint as it turned out. So I'm gonna clean that up. Uh, well, I want that brush clean if I'm gonna do yellow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do the same thing over here. With some yellow. Do, 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 do. Man, it's pretty fun. I'm excited to, been nervous about this. We've been kind of like prepping for it all day. We built the, this little paint rig and, um, oh, you see, I just dipped my yellow brush into my clean water. Uh, I'm gonna probably do that a bunch of times. I'm, I, say that? I know, seriously, I'm honestly like, in a lot of ways, I think there's a lot of serendipity to any of these processes. If I do that too much and I have green on here, that would turn green. Um, but I was okay. I'm it's still at the beginning of the painting. So if that had turned green and I really wanted yellow, uh, I honestly would just not use it and I'd clean it and make a new pile over here. So, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Um, I'm going to, uh, actually I'm going to put a little more yellow in there and you'll probably see me just go straight to the source here a little bit. Like now that I have some water here, this is like, this is some high concentration stuff right here down at the bottom of the well. So that I can either use that to flavor this or I can just put that straight in and that's gonna be like some pow of yellow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this one in the chamber here and I'm gonna grab the medium brush, that number 10. Um, that one's good just to kind of like, at this point, this guy is just a, a shovel or a bucket and I'm gonna put some paint into it. Um, I'll show you here, I'm gonna get some, some, some super bold yellow. I'm gonna do my yellow first. Uh, this is where the sun's gonna be peeking through the peeking through. And you see how I got that like super punchy bit first. And it's gonna be like boop, 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 boop. And you can see it's kind of like stagnated a little bit. I've been talking a little too much. So my, my paint's probably gotten a little bit, my paper's kind of gotten a little bit dry. I can always just kind of add a little bit of water all around that and it's just gonna reactivate all that. Let's get that going. Cool, okay. This ought to be fun because I think um, one of my favorite things is like watching this. So I'm gonna kind of overload it for the moment with water. This side spread out a little more like I was hoping. Just so you can really see how watercolor can spread out and like really make it happen. So this is crazy wet. This would have been maybe if I started right after I finished with the paper towel instead of talking. So again, maybe do as I do instead of what I say. Grab the, uh, maybe make the paint piles before you wet the paper. That way you're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a little more in there. There it goes. So it's kind of spread out. I'm gonna go over to clean her off. Grab some of that green. And kind of just start dropping it right in between. It's always a little crazy during these stages. I feel like it's, uh, I'm gonna go right into the well and get some really punchy green. Right next to where that brown's gonna be. I'm gonna do a little different this time. I'm gonna put some super green. Ooh, that's pretty. Love to get the dark. And sometimes I just paint right on the edge and really that's gonna spread all over there. So you see if anything, I'd say I'm underdoing this. I'm gonna hit just like, like the core of where I really want the color to be. And again, the more you do, the more you'll get used to that. That's probably enough. I'm gonna put a little deep over here too. And uh, I'm gonna actually spread that side out too. So. Okay, and then this is actually like my favorite part a lot, a lot of times. So I'm just gonna kind of take that then. Oh, good catch. And I'm going to just let that kind of do a watercolor thing. Uh, look at how that will just kind of run all over the place. Like I said, I really overload it. You can get some really kind of nice, nice spreads of color. Uh, or if you really want to take paint out of that, if I'm like, oh my gosh, too much, too much. Then this can be a mop. You know, what you do is you just take that, take all the water out of it on your towel. And I just take that brush and just hold it in there. It just sucks up all that water. And get rid of it here. Sucks it up. Gets rid of it here. 
and that was just like three trips with the brush and I got most of it gone. Or sometimes I'll kind of tilt it and run it off. So I'm gonna do it, I kind of went crazy and now I'm gonna get some of that back under control. Just so I can kind of show you all the proper proper. I thought about doing two of these and this might be a rough draft so I guess we'll see. Um, okay, so now I'm kind of like trying to get all the little lakes and you know I'm just using like a mop. I'm just like get rid of the water on the, on the paper towel, roll it through the lake, get rid of the water on the paper towel. So a lot of pain, period, a lot of art, period really, is just fixing mistakes, you know, it's like happy accidents and, um, you know, paint with love in your heart. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of paint the water, make sure all the water is where I need it to be, and then I'm gonna start with it again. I just kind of tilt it this way and that, there it goes, that's perfect. That's like a really fun, slow kind of transition. I really love that. Uh, is that game still a game, like where, I'm gonna take a little, and even while I'm going, I'll just take a little hot yellow, this like yellow right out of the pan, and then right up here where the mushroom connects up there, it was white last time, whoops, I dropped some paint on it, but this time it's gonna be yellow. So, uh, put some yellow in there, and I'm just gonna let it run. And I'm just gonna let that go. And really, this takes some uh, uh, getting used to, I'd say, more than experience, but uh, I, this is really fun to do. Just be like, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe that's the loaded part of loaded brush talking, but but we're not even loaded, except maybe I'm like coffee. Um, and excitement. <laughs> coffee and excitement. Um, so that's actually pretty good. I can always, like, I like a few really punchy parts. Um, that is gonna, right now it's got a lot, of, a lot of, like, is it gonna be a lake or is it gonna be something else? But I, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, Pull that extra that there, pull that there. You know, having fun with it is the point. Um, I'll bet you that when this is dry, you know, if anything, sometimes I'll be like, do I want to wipe the lake off? Can I do these? Actually, I'll be a little neater just so that this dries a little faster. And I don't have to vacuum as much while we're on break. But you see how it's just, I'll let it all run. And even if it feels weird, it's like, do I want that smoother? Your brain probably does, but your painting doesn't, you know? Nature be cray. That's, that's like, that's, that's real talk. Nature be cray. The sunlight, you know, if I just kind of sprinkle the yellow in there and let it blow up into that, into the bits, it's going to feel like it's little sun rays bursting through there. And then I'm going to get green and I'm going to drizzle some green through this yellow bit and you know i guess what i'm showing you is having fun so um whites here i'm gonna leave white they will be fine um they'll actually be awesome and maybe just run some things down and off the side over there so it feels a little more like a sheen but that's kind of just whatever and uh you know um there's definitely going to be times and artists who are going to say that it's got to be a perfect thing like a photo or something like that and i mean there's times that that's probably true a portrait or something like that but for the most part even then I think people want, uh, like if I do this 10 times, I do it 10 different ways. So I think it's, it's really good to try things knowing that this might not be your keeper. What's that? Fail yeah, fail. Don't be afraid to fail. And I guess, I guess I don't think, I, I don't think we, I, I fail far less than I think I will. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a trip actually, just how much I feel like lately, especially the more and more I've tried things that I wasn't good at, the more and more I've realized that it's like, that, 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 that's, that, that's the point more than, um, being good at it almost. Or something. So, um, like I'm having, like here's here's real talk too. I'm gonna go in like about ten seconds, but this little section here, I'm having a bloom, which is where I've, it's sort of where the, the water was was thicker on one side than the other. A couple ways to just meaning it was like a lake on one side, but it was already a little dry on the other. So I can either sort of run more water up to that spot, and that way it'll all kind of like everybody make friends back in that region, and everybody should be kind of the same amount of wet. And then in a minute we'll see how that all dries. It's kind of cool to see it in time lapse, um, and then we'll meet up for uh, section two. I, I would say if you're working two of these, work it to this point. Snap break or, or stop it, put it aside, work on your other one. Um, there's things you'll want to be better, but uh, do it in your next one. You know, do, do it in your third one, fourth one, fifth one. Uh, cool. So snap break, um, we will convene in um, next section, which is going to be the vlog and the uh, and the mossy business. QQ.